Yes, welcome to Wisdom Talks. I'm Joe Wisdom, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to, to, to come to you this wonderful moment and to continue from where we left. And I know we have been looking at wisdom to progress. As I keep saying, wisdom is the principal thing. According to Proverbs 4 7, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Wisdom basically is the ability to apply your knowledge correctly. Understanding is knowing the difference. As you ask, as you pray for other things, as you pray for material things, ask God to give you wisdom. We see a man called Solomon. The Bible says that before him and after him, no one who is as wise as he was, King Solomon, God desired to give him whatever he asked. And this man went to God and asked God, give me wisdom. You can desire wisdom to apply the knowledge that God has given you. You have acquired knowledge. You have gone to school. You have interacted with people. You know, you have vast experience on issues. You have specialized on a certain area. Wisdom is now that ability to apply the knowledge that you have. Today, I want to bring us also what we call wisdom to progress. Wisdom to progress basically we will help you become a better person, live better with other people, and relate well even with your environment. Today I want to talk about the stop of life. We say that in the stop of life, direction is more important than speed. In the stop of life, direction is more important than speed. When we study Ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verses 11, it's called the paradox of life. The paradox of life. The Bible says, Ecclesiastes 9.11, that I returned under the sun, and I saw that the race is not to the swift, and the battle not to the strong, the bread not to the wise, and favor not to men of school, skill, and riches not to men of understanding, but time and chance happens to them all. That basically tells you there is a paradox right there. How comes that the swift are not, or we, do, we do not always win the race? How comes that the strong will not always win the battle? According to our own assessment and human parameters, a natural way of thinking, we realize that the strong will win the battle and the swift will win the race. But the wisest man who ever lived on the surface of the earth by the name of King Solomon said that when he returned under the sun, he saw that the race is not for the swift and the battle not to the strong. What you're basically saying is that time and chance happens to everyone. No one can ever blame God for where they are. We are basically and totally responsible for the mistakes that we have done in life. We cannot blame God. God is not responsible. We are responsible. Someone said that if you are to hit the back of the person responsible for the mistakes that you have made in life, you will not sit down for the next two months. Why? You will whip yourself. Responsibility is very key. We have to take responsibility. Only a fool that doesn't take responsibility. Only the fools who keep seeing mistakes in other people but cannot accept and appreciate that you need to improve on anything. In the stop of life, direction is more important than speed. When I talk about the stop of life, for those who are familiar with driving, when you are driving along the highways and the byways, at some point you will find uh, uh, a signage written stop. That word stop is an acronym and I want to I, 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 I want to demystify it. I want to bring it out. To you. The word stop is an acronym. S means stop. You just need to stop. Stop what you're doing. Be still. There are things that you need. At some point in life you need to be still. Actually the Bible says that be still and know that I'm the Lord. Be still. When you are still, there are things that you can see that you cannot see when you are in motion. When you are seated somewhere, there are some, of, there are some things that you can observe when you are seated. There are some things that you just need to have a stop in life. Maybe your life has been chaos, a lot of pressure here and there, you know, a lot of demand. At some point, you need to pull back and just stop. That will give, that will give you an opportunity to begin thinking soberly. That will begin to give you an opportunity to see things differently. But when you are under pressure, you are not sober. 
and you might not make the right decisions. So S means you stop. T means think. There's a, a research that was done by Harvard University some times back. I love talking about this because it, 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 it's, that's what is there in Africa. And they say that 85%, 85% of the population of the people we have around are people who'd rather die than think. People have refused to think. You know, 85% are, are people who'd rather die than think. Now, 10%, 10% are people who think they are thinking, but they are not thinking. People who think they are thinking, but they are not thinking. Sometimes, even when we're in school, a teacher could have asked a question and somebody was scratching their head. And the teacher sub supposedly says, ah, so and so have the answer. Only after some time, the person saying that I don't remember, I've forgotten. That person thought he was thinking. There are people who think, you know, have great ideas. But after some time, the, the ideas never materialize. Those are people who think they are thinking, but they are not thinking. Some other people will say they are not unrealistic. They are not, they are unrealistic. They are not realistic. So their ideas doesn't, don't hold water. Their ideas cannot, you know, cannot equate into something tangible. People who think they are thinking, but they are not thinking. That means we are left with only 5%. These are the shakers and the movers. These are people who make things happen. These are the people who affect the economies and the systems of the world. These are the people that we call the think tanks. Every program, every project, every organization have its own think tank. Think tanks are people who are set, people who, 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 who strategize, people who are expert in strategic thinking, people who are expert, you know, in, in, in developing new ideas. So you must belong to the category of the 5%. That is why the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12, from verses 1, actually from verses 2, the Bible says that do not be conformed to the patterns of the world, but, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So transformation comes by the way of a renewed, a renewed mind, a renewal of mind. If your mind is being renewed, then you can think. So you don't get stuck in old way of doing things, an old way of thinking. Mm -mm. You must begin to think in a new way generating new ideas you don't get stuck in your past that is to think i challenge you to begin thinking think about your future think about your life think about your children think about your business think about your vision think 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 all means you observe there are some things that you can only learn by observation you don't need to ask anybody a question all that you need is to observe see what people are doing just see what people are doing. Observe. observe. Observation is the best teacher. You just observe. You cannot, you know, some people will be jealous. Some people will hide some information from you if they realize that you're asking them questions. There's some information that they cannot give you. But through observation, you'll be able to, 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 to get some information that nobody will ever give you. So you can learn through observation. We are looking at the stop of life. The word stop. T think. Uh, T stop, uh, S stop, T think, or observe. You must be very observant. Something happening in your life, you need to sit down and observe. Look deep in the inside of you. Observe what has been happening. There are some decisions that you begin to make. If you are in a relationship, observe how your girlfriend, your boyfriend is behaving. You just need to observe. Mm hmm there before you used to look for them. They used to look for you, you used to communicate. Right now they are too busy in their place of work. Observe. There are some signals that are being sent to you. Observation is very important. Then last three, we have P. P is talk about planning. You can now plan. After you stop, after you think, after you observe, you can now plan. Planning is very, very important. Proper planning assures you of proper performance. Time used in preparation is not time wasted. Remember what we say, Abraham Lincoln once said, that 
uh, when a prepared mind, when opportunity meets a prepared mind, greatness is born. When opportunity meets a prepared mind, greatness is born. So we need to keep planning, preparation. Don't just get into things without preparing for them. I said, if you want a, proportion, uh, a promotion, prepare for it. If you want to begin a business, prepare for it. I'm sure you are planning to do something. If you want to move, prepare. Preparation is very key. Keep planning. Proper planning assures you of proper performance. Thank you so much. I'm Joe Wisdom at Wisdom Talks. Wema TV, the voice of hope.